come on for a ride. Yeah. From like the second I got over here, I was like someone I trusted a lot. It's one of those things where, you know, the guy will go out of his way for you off the field and on the field. And the off the field stuff, that 100% translates. He's truly looking out for me as a person. And I know that and I trust him. And, and he's been able to build that personal relationship. Explain to our fans why this has been a place that you wanted to stay. I'd say on the baseball side of things, a lot of it does start with, with Kyle Snyder. All right, off we go. In 2018, the first year on the job, that off season, it was how was I going to make it as personal as, as I could? You know, I consulted with you know quite a few coaches that I'd had over the, the course of my playing career, um, even other mentors outside the game. The majority of the answers that I got were phone calls, not text messages, and go visit them. Here's some things, you know, player plan wise. Here's some, you know, off season focuses. But hey, here's also, let's grab some lunch and let's talk about nothing baseball related. Let's just see how you guys are doing. That's important. So long as I do this job, uh, this will be something that'll, that'll certainly be a priority of mine in the off season. Tyler Glasnow and Shane McClanahan have been at the trop along with Colin Poche, you know, most of this off season. So I've been able to see at least one, if not both of their sides per week. Coffee is critical. This is my third one. I'm going to scale it back a little bit. So a lot of times I'll look at our previous Trackman report, you know, see what the last side looks like and, you know, some of the dialogue that, you know, uh, that we had. This is the time of the year where you can really change, you know, the stars of a player. An example of that, I guess, would be Rasmus in last year. Drew Rasmussen receiving a standing ovation by this crowd and well-deserved developed three different breaking balls coming out of spring training. You know, I think a lot of what he was able to accomplish in spring spring training last year led to the success that he had throughout the course of the season. All right. We can walk through here. We got Mr. Drew Rasmussen over here preparing for his 1050 sideline. Everybody knows Tyler. Drew, they're going to realize you don't have a beard anymore. That's OK. OK. 1050? Yeah. 1120. Feel pretty good, huh? Yeah, we're pretty clean right now. Away. Very nice. There she is. Right away, throw it. You've thrown it enough where visually you're gonna be able to know that your eyes have already been trained. Yeah, leave that. Mark that, will you? to get the best out of people you got to build relationships and so his ability to you know uh, care about you first as a human being and then second as a baseball player is phenomenal he's definitely one of my good friends like he's just a dude that uh, even if we didn't like talk about pitching he wasn't my pitching coach he's just someone you want to spend your time with i think that's why a lot of the guys have the relationship and you know the trust and the ability to get better is because of that personal relationship he's the best when it comes to you know helping explain the, the data and analytics side of baseball, but also putting it, uh, it into practice. You know, Snides was instrumental in helping me clean it up, throw more strikes, you know, improving my stuff. Just knowing all the stuff he knows, and I think like just the amount that he really cares, and like wants you to get better. I think he's just like such a perfectionist and he cares about your career just as much as you and it's just easy to, easy to trust, easy to listen to. It's rewarding, you know, and again, like I mean, my, my job and my goal with each of these guys is to help optimize them as pitchers and people. But my job is very fulfilling, you know. I get to be very hands-on with these guys. I get to get very close to these guys. Um, you know, through time spent, those emotions just grow. I don't think I'd be here without Cal Snyder. He's just a really good friend and happens to know a ton about pitching, so.